Hello and welcome. Let's solve this system of equation involving radicals together. I tell you, it's somehow tricky, but relax. I'm going to take you through it step by step. Now, when you see this equation, how do you solve it? We begin with our solution. So we are going to have our solution. Now, what do you do? This is what we have. The first equation is root A plus root B is equal to 7. And we have square root of A plus B is equal to 5. Now, what do you do? When you see this, please remember, in your rule of radicals, when you have root A plus B, it's not the same as root of A plus root of B. You cannot split this root. These two are not the same. So in this case, you have to be careful not to split. So what do you do then? Don't worry. What you do here is this is our equation one and this is our equation two. So what we are going to do is we are going to square from equation one. We are going to square both sides. So we are going to have from equation one, we square both sides. So if you do that, we are going to now have root of A plus root of B. Remember, the both sides are this side and this side. So square accordingly. So the whole of the left side, you square it, is equal to this one, you square it. I hope you see what we're doing. So how do you now expand that? And if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for choosing to learn to us. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. And if you find this interesting, don't forget to give us a like, share with your friends. Now, from here, how do you expand this? Just remember, for every A plus B raised to power, let's bring it down. For every A plus B raised to power 2, it is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So we are going to apply it here to help us to expand. So we are going to now have root of A, which is our A, square it plus square this. Okay, so we're going to use two to multiply these two. So we have two, we multiply root A and multiply root B plus square the next term. So we have root B squared, that is for expanding it, and is equal to seven squared, you know, is seven times seven, which is 49. So what do you do next? We are going to now have, this is, this square, we cancel the square root. So we are left with A plus. Now to multiply this, how do you multiply? When you have root A multiplied by root B, it is the same as root A multiplied by B inside one square root. So we can apply it here. So we have 2 into root of A times B plus. Now for this, what do you do? The square, we cancel the square root. So you have B is equal to 49. Interesting. So what do you have next? This is the same as a plus b plus 2 root. Multiply this, you have ab is equal to 49. Let's leave it at this point. We call it equation 3. Now what do you think we should do next? Let's go back to the second equation. So what do we do to the second one? We have to remove the square root. And to remove it, we are going to still square. So from equation two, what do we do? We also square both sides. So we are going to square, square root of A plus B, square it, and then square your five. Did you see what we are doing? So this square, we cancel the square root. So you are having A plus B, five squared is five times five, and that will give us 25. Beautiful. Now, what do you do? You can label this equation four. Did you observe anything from these two equations? Did you observe anything? Look at the two carefully. You observe that there is a plus b in equation three and in equation four, our a plus b gave us 25. So what do you think we should do? We just do substitution. So to do that, we have put equation four into equation three. So this gives us our uh, a plus b is 25. So we're going to replace it here to have 25 plus 2 root a b is equal to 49. Now what do you do? Just 
remove this, this is positive. To remove it, subtract 25 from both sides. So when you do that, this is gone. So we have two root AB is equal to, if you subtract this, it gives you 24. What do you do next? Remove this. To do that, you divide. So you also divide this. This takes off this. So we have, and I hope you've already given us a like. Let's keep doing this to have. Root of AB is equal to, divide this, you have 12. What do you do? To remove this square, this square root, you have to square. So you also square both sides again. And if you do that, you have root of AB squared is equal to 12 squared. So what do you do? This square, we take off this. And we are left with AB is equal to 12 squared is 12 times 12. And that gives us 144. So we can call this equation 5. So what do you do? Remember the equation we left behind from our equation 4. Recall we said, recall our equation 4 we said is A plus B is equal to 25. That was what we have in equation 4. So these two equations, we are going to now solve them to help us to get what we are looking for. So we are going to solve this. And to do that, we have, let's take the first one. A plus B is equal to 25. Then we have AB is equal to 144. So when you have this kind of equation, you remember it's still your system of equations. So we're going to solve it simultaneously. And to do that, we are going to have, this is our equation four, and this is our equation five. So we are going to, from equation four, make a subject. So we have from equation four, let's make a subject. So we are going to have A is equal to, okay, let's choose to make B subject. You are free to make any one subject. Let's go with B. So B will be, 25 to remove this a you know you subtract so it's going to be 25 minus a so this becomes our equation six now what do you do we are going to plug this value here into equation five so we put our equation six into our equation five to help us to solve so to do that we have a into our B is this. So we have 25 minus A is equal to 144. What do you do? Distribute this, distribute. So to have A times this is 25A. This times this is negative A squared is equal to 144. Now what do you do? This is leading to a quadratic because the highest power of A is 2. So what we do now is we are going to move all this to the right side. So we take this to the right side so as to avoid working with negatives. So we're going to have, if you move all this, you are left with zero. Is equal to, when you move this, this is negative A. It becomes positive A squared. This is positive. It becomes negative 25A. And this is already positive 144. So this is the same as a squared minus 25a plus 144 is equal to zero. So to solve this using your quadratic formula, you have our a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Please, this a in the formula, you know it's gotten from the general quadratic equation, which is this. So to avoid confusing it with the A we are looking for, let's put tax service on that. So to have, this will now be divided by 2 multiplied by this A. So here, our A is equal to the coefficient of this squared value. So which is 1. Our B is the coefficient of A, which is negative 25. And our C is 144. So plug this here. We now have A is negative of 25. So remember, there is negative sign there. Plus or minus square root of negative 25 squared minus 4. Our A is 1 multiplied by 144. is divided by 2 times 1. 
So we have A is equal to, this gives us positive now, plus or minus. This will give us negative 25 squared becomes positive 625. And when you multiply this, we have negative 576 divided by, multiply this, you have 2. So we now have A is equal to 25 plus or minus square root of, subtract this, we have 49 and is divided by 2. Keep solving. A is equal to 25 plus or minus square root of 49 is 7 over 2. So we have A is, if you add this to get your A, we have 25 plus 7 divided by 2. That gives us the first positive value. The first value of A, sorry. So let's add this. It gives us 32 divided by 2. And when you divide this, it gives you 16. So it means that the first value of A we have is 16. Now let's get the second value of A. So the second value of A will now be 25 minus 7 divided by 2. And that gives us 8. Second value of A, if you subtract this, it gives us 18 divided by 2. And when you divide 18 by 2, it gives us 9. So it means that the second value of A is 9. Now, having gotten these two values of A, we need to get their corresponding Y values. So we have to remember the equation we, we left behind that our AB is equal to 144. That is our equation 6. So let's plug these two values to get their corresponding B values. So we're going to start with when the first value of A is 16, what do you do? So we now have our A will now be 16 B is equal to 144. What do you think we should do to get B, divide both sides by 16? So when you do that, let's take this off. So B will give us, if you divide this, it gives you 9. And this gives us the first value of B when the first value of A is 16. So we have it that, let's take it to this part to have the first A value and the corresponding Y B value is when A is 16, our y is 9. Now let's take the second value of a. So when the second value of a is 9, what do we do? We are going to have, remember this statement, so we have 9b is equal to 144. So what do you do? Divide both sides by 9, divide this by 9. And if you do that, we are going to have b is equal to if you divide this, it gives you 16. So this is the second value of B. Let's bring it together. So we now have the first value of A and its B is 16 and 9. And the second value of A and its corresponding B is 9 and 16. So this gives us the set of values of A and V. Now let's do a little check to see if what we have is correct. So let's verify. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what we do interest. Don't forget to like this video and also help us to share. So let's plug this. You are going to work with the first one. You see that these two are the same, but interchange. They're just the same values. So if you work with this first, it's the same as working with the second. So let's go with the first one. From when we have this A and B to be 16 and 9, what do we do? We have square root of our A is 16 plus square root of 9. And what is the square root of 16? We are testing the first one. Square root of 16, you know, is 4 and the square root of 9 is 3. And when you add this, it gives you 7, which is what we have here. Now let's check for the second equation. So we have square root of our A is 16 and our B is 9. When you add this, it gives you 25. And the square root of 25 gives you 5, which is also what we have at the right side. 
So you see that this value we got for A and B are correct. And I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video, share that, share it so that the algorithm send it to more people that need this skill. If this helps you, don't forget to tell us how much. And I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comment. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you every day. See you and thank you for choosing to learn to us. See you in my next class. Bye-bye.